Hey guys, I'm Aditya Thakur and welcome to part two of our Flutter PDF series. So if you haven't watched the previous video, you can check out the previous video using the I on top. And in this video, we'll continue with it and I'll show you how to access PDFs that you have saved inside your Firebase storage and use them in app inside your Flutter application. Uh, now. Again, I had recorded this video back in the month of February and it's July right now. Uh, there might be some changes, but uh, these would be just little modifications, although the steps would remain similar. I hope this video helps you. And if it does, do subscribe the channel and thank you so much. Let's get started with it. So, so far uh, we have made this basic home UI where we have upload PDF and view PDF. In this video, we would be working to, uh, you know, get PDFs from our Firebase storage and view it on our device. So I will quickly create a new dart file. So new dart file and I'll call this view PDFs view pdf dot dot uh, now what I will do is this is right now empty so I'll just import material dot dot and create a stateless widget which I will call load pdf okay and I will go over to my home page. Mm, okay, so this is my home page. Uh, inside my uh, the raised button that I had defined, it did not have an on press. So I'll give it an on pressed an empty callback. And inside this my callback, what I need to do is I need to go over to my load PDF widget. So Let me just import load PDF. It is inside my view PDF. Okay, so now it is visible right here. I'll go over to my view PDF. Uh, right now it's returning an empty container. What I need to do is I'll refer again the GitHub readme. I'll link it in the description and this should help you like uh, what all do we need so we need uh, the flutter plugin pdf viewer which we hadn't added to uh, our pubspec.yaml so i'll first add this plugin under flutter document picker quickly do a pub get so this should import the related files to this plugin and we use this plugin to view pdf files in flutter uh, once this will be done so once this will be uh, done I need to go down to view PDFs from Firebase storage and what we'll do is uh, we need all these you know files and I need the firebase storage and I need this plugin PDF viewer so I'll copy them from here go over to my view PDF dot dot and import them here right here once that is done what we'll do is uh, we have created a stateless widget I need to create an instance of firebase storage to use it inside my load PDF I can simply create an instance of firebase storage and then I will define a new uh, function which would list all the you know directories that we have
So one thing uh, I need to do is instead of making this load PDF as a stateless widget, I need to make it stateful because I will be tapping into the uh, init state, you know, uh, which is like when you So I will be tapping into the init state which is like one of the uh, life cycle of stateful widget so therefore I need to make it stateful. Again I will go over and create an instance of Firebase storage and define this function which should list all the you know directories that we have. we will be using files because we have the file directory inside it and once this is done we need to define a function to get the download URL so let me just quickly explain it what happens is uh, we have defined an instance of Firebase storage and we are using this future function which is list examples so what it will do is it will get result so this result is a way reference we are using the instance to refer the child of this folder called file so we have inside our console firebase.google.com go to console go to the project that you have initialized and go to storage So you have this folder called files and we would we will uh, list all the you know directories that are there. if there is like if item for each if we find a file so it would print the file name and if we find a directory like if you find another folder so it should print the directory this uh, function I got it from the flutter document uh, flutter file documentation and then there is this another function download URL uh, example which will get us you know from the same files folder it will get us the uh, some file that we have some file.pdf I had already you know some file.pdf we have so it should get us that instead of you know making it like this uh, instead of you know typing it out you can also use the reference that we got save it to a variable name and paste it here if you are like dealing with a number of files but since I know and this is only a tutorial so I'll uh, write it myself here I'll print the download URL then PDF document doc I'll await this PDF document we are getting it from the flutter PDF viewer and I'll give it this URL and what I will do is navigator dot push to view PDF now this view PDF right now is not defined and while uh, what we need to do is uh, we go back to and create an init state where we'll call both these functions and yeah so we'll go down there create an init state for this it will implement this and one is once it's done it's uh, it will print all done and instead of returning a container here we'll use a circular progress indicator so as long as uh, this is being done there will be there will be a circular progress indicator on screen and once all this is completed like I have defined inside the URL example only it will push to our next screen so after this is done inside the init state it would automatically push to the next next page so circular progress indicator which show up for some time once everything is uh, done in the background it will load up the next screen let's define the next screen here itself can make that one stateless so view pdf it returns an empty container for now but I can simply do is a replace with child pdf or what I need to do is this view pdf should take in a like it should have a constructor so I will first PDF document the document and view PDF is the constructor so it will take in this dot document and simply give
and instead of returning an empty container what I can do is tap into this PDF viewer and okay so what we have done is this PDF document is uh, we are getting this from the flutter plugin viewer so I have defined document as a PDF document type and this is the constructor for this state particular stateless widget what it will do is when we call this view PDF right here it takes in doc now this doc is also the PDF document type so we needed a constructor inside this widget and it would simply return the PDF viewer document and the document that we supplied so if you know about constructors and classes this should be understandable that uh, we are just supplying it the document and it will show that up it will return that to the screen and why we did uh, this like why did I do it in two different widgets because if you would have done it in the same widget why uh, this all these functions all these futures take up time to load like they would need some time to load while the builder would show up like immediately as you go so there would be like uh, you know it wouldn't your PDF wouldn't open so you can use a future builder but if you do not know how to use a future builder this is like a simple approach we have in it uh, we tap use the init state of one widget and once all the steps are completed in that we push to the next widget so this is like something I learned while working with APIs and and uh, like future uh, like await and async and all that so this is a simple trick I'm just loading up the last widget which will show up the document let's try to run our application So yeah, we are done with this. Our PDF is loading up on the screen and you can view it. It's the same cheat sheet that we uploaded. Now these, uh, this tutorial isn't, you know, as detailed uh, and it's just basically uh, some things that I wanted to share that I have learned from uh, Firebase and Flutter documentation. I hope this helps you like uh, in the beginner stage because all these are like you we are uploading just one PDF and we are accessing it but you can build upon it you can use variable names uh, to upload um, multiple files you can check out uh, you know multiple file picker you can uh, use variable names to change the names and you can also create references inside Firebase you know uh, inside cloud firestore where you can you know save who uploaded the file and what is the subject of the file and all the other details and you can access them uh, then you can use list view to build up like uh, a file like all the files that you have inside your story so you can build a list view and tap on it to view a particular file so I wanted to make these tutorials to explain my approach like we have created simple references and we are just uploading the files then instead of using a future builder we are uh, using like these examples functions to uh, first list all the files and then download the URL and then pass it to a different widget to view the PDF and I hope this helped you because I checked out other tutorials on Flutter PDFs which were either outdated in terms of Firebase and uh, this might get outdated too so I would recommend checking out the Flutter Fire documentation to keep updated uh, with how uploading and you know downloading the URLs can be done so with this yes uh, we come to the end of the tutorial thank you for watching I hope this video helps you and if it does do subscribe the channel and thank you so much.